My name is Fatou Sengay, the Executive Director of Gainjoro Skills Academy. Um, at Gainjoro, we do skills, skills acquisition. We give skills to youth and women, um, particularly women. Most of our trainees are women. And the centre has been in existence for 10 years now. We started in 2009. It's accredited by NACA, the National Quality Assurance Authority of the government. They sign and authenticate our certificates. My profession is finance. I did banking and finance. That's where I, that's what I have my degree on. After studying in the UK, come home working in the bank. The time were not favorable for me to be a banker and be a mom and a house and a wife as well. So I've decided to be an entrepreneur. But I've got skills in braiding. So I said I'll open a salon. Opening a salon, living in Kololi, I see a lot of young girls just roaming about, not doing much for themselves thinking that they can earn a living in another way. So I said, I want to get young girls off the streets with skills that are marketable so that they can be independent in the future. Then that inspired me to train young girls so that they can believe in themselves and be independent. Right now we have, in Bruce we, we have 130 students. In Farafene, we have 48 students and so are we coming to start very soon, immediately after the Ramadan. Bruce B, currently we have 18, including me. Farofenya we have 11, and Soma, we're coming to start, like I said. Um, but most of our staffs are students that we train in the school, so we plow back. When we train them and feel that they're really good, we most of the time try to keep them. That is why our work is always on the way that we want, because they take the ownership of the work. They believe that they're from here and they empower empowering others because they've been empowered here. After two years of working in the centre, we try to empower them, for them to have their own businesses, and then we employ others to continue with the journey. That's what we do here in Kenyora. In five years, we're looking at, the government have given us a land in Farafene. And we have also have a fully completed school in summer given by the governor. So hopefully we'll have our production centre because we want to start producing. Because in the province we do environmental friendly skills last, like waste management, tyre recycling and upcycling. Um, those skills and biochar, briquetting, we do those and we want to start going into poultry but the we're going to do poultry in a different way, not just the bats, but we're going to do krill and all those to so grow them. So we wanted to have a production centre that we will produce and sell locally and inter internationally. That's where we see seeing ourselves in the next five years, in the future. Our head of is in Bruce Bay, 1010 Bruce Bay, Tone Table, Access Bank Building. And our Farafene Annex is in, on the highway to Poste in Muritani. And the Soma Centre is the Soma Scout Centre. That's where we are located with the three centres. If you want to reach us, my number is 39560366. The PA, the personal assistance to me, is Hadi 7080814. And you can contact us on both numbers if you need any other information. Or visit our website at gainjoroskillsacademy.com or send us an email at info at gainjoroskillsacademy.com. We are on all social media, Gainjoro Skills Academy. You'll find us on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, all of them, where they just type in Gainjoro Skills Academy and see the beautiful work that the students do. Um, to support more young people, especially girls, so that they can be skillful, because with skills, it's handsome. And there's opportunity, like I said, the Gambia is a conducive country, that the environment is very conducive, that we can live in. So to get a job here is not difficult, and to be an entrepreneur is the best thing, because looking at the Gambia, entrepreneurs are the movers and seekers of this economy. 
When entrepreneurs pay their taxes, they contribute to the national economy of the country. We contribute hugely, so it's best to, um, to promote people, to support them, to be entrepreneurs rather than to be job seekers. Let them come out and be job creators. The skills are hands-on. As far as they have them, nobody can take it from them. It's something for life. And when they're skillful, they can do anything and earn a living daily and never ask anybody what they want. So let us encourage the girl child to have skills because it's very important.